Hello and welcome back to Unit 11 of this OpenSAP course. My name is Kusiel Camargo. I am SAP S4 HANA product expert and plant to product team leader in the regional implementation group. I'm talking from Sao Paulo, Brazil, and in this unit I will present the topic SAP S4 HANA supply chain, EWM QM integration for warehouse defects. So let's start. SAP S4 HANA can handle different types of issues, from the simplest situations to the very complex problems. For instance, once we capture an issue in the system, we can create a defect and we can use several tools available to detail this problem and how to solve it according to the complexity. We can create a quality task for a simple and streamlined problem solving process. We can create a quality notification to continue in the notification for complex cases. Or even we can use the ADD functionality, which is a standardized problem solving process according to the ADD methodology. Now that we are aware of all these options in the SAP S4 HANA, the question that comes to our minds is, how can I deal with stock issues if I'm using quality management and embedded EWM? The answer is a new object called warehouse defect. It was created to make the defect recording easier and simpler and to enable the embedded EWM stock integration with QM through logistical follow-up actions. For instance, to block the embedded EWM stock, to release it, or even to post it for scrap. Before SAP S4 HANA 2020 release, Customers were asking for a tool to capture defects for products at production lines that were using embedded EWM in SAP S4 HANA. And this solution should support ad hoc quality checks with stock movement needs, and they wanted closer quality management integration paired with SAP inventory management and SAP warehouse management. Then with warehouse defect released in the SAP S4 HANA 2020, we have embedded DWM integration with QM defect and notification. We can make stock assignments in the SAP S4 HANA embedded DWM and follow up actions triggering stock postings for one or multiple materials. It is important to understand some changes in the data relationship of defects and quality notifications that were made to allow users to create generic defects, production defects, and now warehouse defects. From the quality management side, now we have a new defect handling model in the SAP S4 HANA, but we still based on quality notification data model. It means that the new defect is no longer assigned to a quality notification and can thus be used independently. Nevertheless, the same database table is used. Then a new defect category was created. Number 08, warehouse defect. Also, were created additional follow up actions. From the embedded extended warehouse management side, there is a new inspection ID type for the QM defect, letter G, which is linked to the selected stock of the handling unit and with the warehouse defect created in the QM side, allowing us to see the warehouse defect number 
in the embedded EWM stock. So, what are the main features available in warehouse defects for embedded EWM? It all starts with the new app called Record Warehouse Defect to record the defective stock found in the warehouse. With this app, we can create a warehouse defect with reference to a storage location and assign warehouse information. In the Manage Defects app, we can filter defects based on quality engineer overview. Back in the warehouse defect, we can upload an attachment, create task and assign responsible person, record time effort within task processing, execute stock selection and postings through the follow-up actions post to blocked stock, cancel post to blocked stock, scrap to cost center, and post to unrestricted stock. Once we created the warehouse defect and entered that list the basic information through the warehouse defect app, maybe we'll need more information, for instance, to evaluate supplier business partner data. Then we can transfer the warehouse defect to a quality notification before deciding what to do with the defective stock. So stock postings for embedded DWM stock can also be done via quality notification, but only if there is a defect as predecessor. We can transfer or create a defect to a quality notification through the Manage Defects app. Please keep in mind that the quality tasks must be completed. Then the maintained data is transferred into the defect within the quality notification, and we can use the business adding QM, NCM, auto, transfer, of def, to automatically transfer these defects to notification. The warehouse defect information like quality tasks, attachments, are integrated into the quality notification. Several new action box entries are available, including the following to embedded EWM managed stock. Post to blocked, unrestricted or to quality stock with warehouse move, warehouse move, scrap to cost center, create return delivery after bar implementation available, charge scrap to supplier after bar implementation available. Please check the SAP s product assistance in the SAP help portal for detailed information. There, you can search for Record Warehouse Defect in the Quality Management Path, or you can search for Defect Processing in the Extended Warehouse Management Path. So let's take a look into the system to see an example of how to manage a warehouse defect in the SAP S4 HANA. In the demo, you will see the following how to create a warehouse defect, to add warehouse defect information, and to block the defective stock. How we can check defect details, perform follow-up actions, and release the stock. And finally, how to set the warehouse defect to complete. Before we start the warehouse defect flow, let's open in parallel the app Warehouse Monitor to visualize the stock situation of the first handling unit, Final 49. The handling unit has four pieces with stock F1 unrestricted at this moment. So, let's imagine that the warehouse operative finds a defective stock at this handling unit. 
he enters in the record warehouse defect app and add basic information like description, defect detailed description, defect code, defective material, plant, and storage location. But we are dealing with an embedded EWM stock, so he needs to inform the source storage bin. Now, he can use the follow-up actions to post to blocked stock. As the handling unit has four pieces, the user needs to confirm how many parts were affected in the select stock button. In this example, only one piece is defective. Warehouse operative creates the defect. We observe that a quality task named Posting to Block and Stock was created and completed. Back to the warehouse monitor. We can see that now we have one piece of the handling unit final 49 with status blocked stock, the inspection ID type G and the warehouse defect number in the column quality inspection. The quality engineer visualizes in the quality engineer overview that we have defects and he opens the manage defects app from the graphical card. He opens the latest defect, he checks the information and he decides to create a quality task to fix the defect. When creating the quality task, he adds the task code, description, assigns the task processor, adds detailed description if needed, and he creates the task, putting it in process. The quality engineer saves the defect. The person assigned as the task processor receives a notification. With one click, he can immediately see the basic information of the task and open the task from the notification.
Once the task is completed, the processor can add the time effort, add additional information if he wants, and set the task to complete it. Back to the quality engineer, he enters in the Manage Defects app with several filter options available to visualize the progress of the defect. The quality engineer observes that the quality task to polish the product is completed and the defect is fixed. He can now post this piece to unrestricted stock, releasing this unit to be used again. He saves the warehouse defect and set it to complete. If we look again in the warehouse monitor and refresh the screen, we see that our handling unit has no more pieces blocked. That concludes our demo about the warehouse defect process. Let's close this unit with some key takeaways. SAP S4 HANA can handle issues in quality management with different kinds of complexity. As of SAP S400 2020 release, a new solution called Warehouse Defects links QM defect and quality notification with stock assignment in embedded EWM and stock postings through various follow-up actions. Be familiar with the main features available in the Warehouse Defects for embedded EWM as well the things to consider when you are implementing this solution. And that's it for Unit 11. Thank you for your attention. Please stay tuned for Unit 12, SAP S4 HANA Supply Chain, Advanced Shipping and Receiving for EWM TM Integration, presented by my colleague, Philip. Goodbye.